Hello, hello, my lovely Saggies. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Saggies, you have the Father and the Shaman, the Pilgrim and the Bridge, the Poet and the Cave. Saggies. I don't know, because I mean, the Father is the idea of like being lifted up on a pedestal, being dropped flat down on your face. Um, you know, the shaman is the idea of like, if you hold on to one experience, then you miss out on the entirety of all of the experiences that there are to have. Um, and I kind of get this idea of holding on to something because it made you feel like you were on top of things, you know, like it, like it fed your ego and it, it inflated you, but I feel like it was a false inflation. Like you can blow up a balloon, but you can pop that shit hella easy, you know? And I feel like there's just this idea of like somebody blowing up a balloon and then you realizing that like, if you hold on to that, <laughs> cause I just think of like a balloon, you know what I mean? Like if you hold on to that, like you're never going to experience what it is to be actually honored. Like there's a reason that shit can pop so easy because it's a bunch of bunch of hot air. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know. I just think like release it, release all the hot air and you'll find that I just, I feel like you're not someone who's so easily popped. Um, the bridge and the pilgrim together like that, I just kind of feel like you are going on a journey that's like very literal. Um, but I feel like this journey, I, I almost feel like this like journeyman's journey, <laughs> like through the desert, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, and I don't know how that'll play out for you individually, but I just kind of get this feeling that, um, you know, there's an idea of, of, I just feel like trying to uncover like the beauty, uncover the intimacy, uncover the, like, if that's not, if I'm not somebody who can just be popped, if I'm not, if I'm more than just the hot air that people blow around me, you know, like, like, what is that? What does that mean? What does that look like? I, if this really and truly does feel like a journey, but like a journeyman's journey, <laughs> You know, like sometimes we go on a trip and then we're just taking a trip to take a trip. And then sometimes we end up on a whole damn journey. <laughs> this kind of feels like a whole damn journey. <laughs> we'll do clarifiers and see what else we get. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Well, the full just like flew out and flipped behind the desk and onto the floor. So I'm gonna have to grab that. <laughs> Give me a second here. Okay. The Fool, the Emperor, the Page of Cups, the World, the Devil, the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. <sighs> well, Go back to that inflated ego. I say it with love. <laughs> um, I just kind of get this feeling of like, there really being a lot of lack. They're like, ultimately all that hot air ended up being was a lot of manipulation, a lot of strings that like, don't you know what I've done for you? Oh, <laughs> I hate that. That is like, I hate it. Because if somebody says, you know, like what I've done for you, what they did for you, was hold a reason over your head to make you do what they wanted you to do the next time. Those people are not, <laughs> okay? <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I feel like there is an idea of like really making a decision to bring that type of behavior to an end, to release holding on to that, because why? Um, you know, and getting, I just kind of feel like getting swept away. I mean, you're facing your fears, but it doesn't feel like it's like no sooner do you face your fear than you are just like on your way. And I feel like you're just feeling really protective. Um, this could be a relationship. I don't know. It could be friendship. It could be, you know, like however it plays out for you, but it just feels like there is an idea here of really feeling protective 
of an opportunity that allows you to like take this journey. Okay, Sagittarius going on a journey. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can get for y'all. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Hierophant, Page of Pentacles, Fairy Stallion. Seven of Pentacles. Well, you know, again, I just feel like this idea of a cycle ending and a decision being made that really allows you to see your way out um, of the hot air <laughs> chamber. <laughs> Um, because I, again, I just feel like there's something that you've been working on for a long time, you know, just like something that you've been developing. And I think really just like knowing that you're ready to go in a new direction on the journey, the journey, the journey, the journey that is going to be the name of this video. <laughs> because I just keep hearing it over and over and over again. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> um, the, whoops. The Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant again, the Empress, the Nine of Swords, and the Star. Well, you know, again, with this whole, this energy being left behind, this like, always feeling like some, something's gonna go wrong. What's gonna happen now? You know what I mean? Just like this, who am I gonna upset? Who am I gonna have to, you know, like link with to keep this and balance with that, da, 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 you know, cause I gotta make sure that everything's sorted appropriately. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Knave of Cups. I really do just kind of get this feeling that you're ready to, to like, go for something. I feel like there have been, you know, like that release of the balloon. I don't know. I just feel like it's like, and now you can go. And I think you're going in a direction that you, like you feel more empowered. You feel like this isn't some hot air balloon that can just be taken from me. You know, like this isn't something that somebody can just pop. Like this is, this is, long-term understanding, knowing, development, power, you know what I mean? Healing. And I'm going to stand in that, right? You don't want to be somebody that can just get popped. <laughs> um, okay. Sagis. The empty room in the starborn. Well, you know, again, I just kind of feel like this idea of like, when you let go, you have to really figure out what it is that you want. Because if you're going on a journey of self, like, don't you want to know what it is that you really want? Like, don't you want to be conscious of, of why you're making your decisions and how you're making your decisions? Because that's how you're going to rise up is because you're going to be acting consciously, not like a damn helium balloon that just bounces around in whichever direction it gets tapped. <laughs> because... Ooh, not a good look. Not a good look. All right, Saggies. Well, if this does resonate with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.